Okay. All right. The gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Jordan, is now recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, the, the previous uh, member just said, bemoan the results and talked about the big lie. Well, how about the big lies? How about all the lies the Democrats have told us over the last couple of years? Democrats told us the protests in the summer of 2020 were peaceful. Democrats told us the dossier was real. Democrats told us Trump colluded with Russia. We had a $30 million investigation done by Bob Mueller that said that wasn't true. Democrats told us the Russian bounty story was true. Democrats told us COVID didn't start in a Chinese lab. Nope, nope, didn't start there. It was a, it was a bat to a pangolin to a hippopotamus to Joe Rogan. And we get, they, no, no, no. And then Democrats for four years told us the 2016 election was stolen. For four, they could investigate that for four years. We're not allowed to question some concerns we have about the 2020 election for four minutes, but they could investigate that for four years. In fact, on January 6, 2017, Democrats objected to more states than Republicans objected to on January 6, 2021. Mr. Raskin himself objected to the state of Florida, to certifying the results from the state of Florida on January 6, 2017. But we're not allowed to ask questions. I mean, they, had, they objected to the state of Alabama. Alabama, a state that President Trump won by 30 points. They can object to Alabama, but we're not allowed to object to Pennsylvania, where in the run-up to that election, they changed their election law in unconstitutional fashion. We're not allowed to object to that or do an audit in Arizona. Give me a break. Mr. Becker, the chairwoman, uh, in her opening statement, uh, statement, the chairwoman criticized the fact that private funds were used to finance the Arizona audit. Do you, uh, do you share her criticism of that? I do in the sense that it was uh, untransparent. Uh, they resisted any kind of transparency to that endeavor. Uh, I, uh, my you organization. The fact that Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg gave over four million, four hundred million, excuse me, four hundred million dollars to uh, for the election itself. Um, yes, I was just getting to that. Actually, my organization received over sixty million dollars from Mr. Zuckerberg and Ms. Chan to uh, grant to any state that wanted to apply for it for purposes of you, conducting you took, voter you education million, for um, Facebook. How many million? Uh, over sixty million dollars that my organization we granted to the states. And that's fine. Uh, we, I, yeah, it was all done transparently. Uh, we've put out in March of this year, and I'm sure you've read it, Ms., uh, Ms., uh, Representative Jordan. Um, we put out a, re a report, a full transparent report, listing all of the states that applied, 23 states, some of them very blue, like Connecticut, some of them very red, like South Carolina. The so exact okay amounts that went to each to state and to, what the money but went for. I got a for. question here. It's okay for private funds to be used to run the election. It's not okay for private funds to be used to audit an election. Is that what you're saying? No, what I'm saying is transparency is paramount and that transparency should be done under any circumstances. Ideally, private funds well, wouldn't be used for election administration. Would what would, uh, Madam Chairman? We would like some transparency on how that $400 million was used to uh, run the election and, and exactly what your organization did with the over $50 million I think you said you received. Mr. Bennett. Uh, there were three numbers that were pointed out in the audit that I just want to get your reaction to. Well, first of all, um, is auditing a bad thing? Auditing an election, is that a bad thing? Absolutely not. In fact, it's what? already in state law that the counties do uh, a limited audit. Uh, the Senate did a full forensic audit in this situation. Yeah, normally we think auditing is a good thing. It just keeps everything. It's, it's accounting. It's, it's an understanding of what actually took place. We normally view that. Why do Democrats hate audits? You'd have to ask a Democrat. I don't know why they hate audits. Um, to me, um, we have an auditor general office in the state of Arizona. Every state agency is audited every three or four years, some annually. Um, everyone seems to support that. Uh, I think audits of elections are warranted as well. Yeah, no, 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 no kidding. Uh, I mean, they, they tried to audit the 2016 election. They're still trying to do it. They still haven't accepted the results from the 2016, but we're not allowed to ask questions and do a few audits on the 2020 election. I got three numbers I want to run by you that were in the actual audit, uh, Arizona. 23,344 mail-in ballots from a different address. 9,044 uh, more ballots returned by a voter than were sent to that voter. And 5,295 ballots with the same name and birth date 
from a different county than were sent to the voter. Can you tell me about those three numbers and what what that those findings uh, what they may what, what, just just tell me what your your thoughts on those three uh, those three numbers. Well, the first number was the 23,000. Uh, my recollection is that 15,000 of those 23,000 were voters who moved within Maricopa County just prior to the election. That does not make them ineligible to vote in the county, so there's probably nothing wrong with those 15,000. Uh, there was 6,000 of that 23 that was um, thought by the auditors to be folks that moved out of Arizona uh, just prior to the election and if so, probably shouldn't have been allowed to vote. But when they looked at the voter registration of those 6,000, it was divided equally, 2,000 Republicans, about 2,000 Democrats, and about 2,000 no party designation. So we don't know whether or not those, uh, what the votes were on those ballots. Uh, 6,000, you said that was 6,000. That was about 6,000, yes. Okay. Uh, the other two numbers that you mentioned are numbers that the auditors uh, determined to be questionable based on their comparison of the final vote data released by Maricopa County compared to commercial databases. Um, that has uh, given rise to questions that Maricopa the, County the says that they can answer. Said, uh, and so, as I said in my testimony, we welcome uh, answers and verification of that from the county. Okay. What about the, the, gen the gentleman's time has uh, expired, and uh, maybe we can get these answers.